Yo, yo, man, fuck with your boy, you fan, 007, man. Shout out to the whole fucking nigga fan movement. What up, niggas, you good? All you battle rappers fighting, y'all good? Glad to hear none of you niggas got in the hospital or nothing like that, man. You could be parked up next to me in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, there's a lot of niggas on that stage, man. T-Top, you fell backwards and took off them at a whole middle stage. Someone could have got hurt. Yo, niggas don't realize how easy it is to get hurt in the rumble like that. Somebody could have shoved T-Top forward. Because he was right by the edge of the stage. Not even, he don't even know what's going on. They could have just pushed him to get him out the way real quick to get at Briz. So we glad no one played dirty like that. You know, but I really just want to say, man, I don't know what really started everything. You know what I'm saying? It looks like Briz started from what everybody's saying. Um, I don't know if it was the bumping. But then again, you got niggas saying it's because they was like, fuck your mother the mook. You know what I'm saying? And I guess my question to you, the fans, is what's going too far? Do y'all think that should have been fair game? I'll be honest with you. How the hell can you get mad at someone who just lost their mother? And the first thing you, I'm saying, y'all like, fuck your mother. Like, of course he's going to react. He's a human being. So if it's over that, then I mean, I, I definitely can't get mad at Mook. Nigga should, like, you don't have to say that to win a battle. I don't even think Arsenal does stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Even Arsenal has some type of respect. Like, we can't just be on some... Fuck your dead mother or, or, or fuck your dead children. Like, the same way niggas say children's off limit. Like, someone dead parents should be off limits. Like, goddamn, you don't know who... You don't know how someone's going to be affected by that. Like, it's, at some point, it has to be bigger than a goddamn battle. A nigga might want to fuck you up way worse than him losing a battle. You see what I'm saying? So, me personally, I'm hoping that niggas don't start going that route. I'm disappointed that niggas went that route. And even said fuck your mother. I, I watched it one time, so I didn't even catch that shit. So I went back and watched it. And I was just like, ooh, man. Then for the Royal Rumble, I heard Chess got jumped. Chess, I hope you all right. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit was just crazy, bro. That shit was Rex beating someone half to death with a bottle. Calico getting involved. Hell, even his goddamn father was involved. So it was just like, niggas is really wild. And I'm glad that no one got hurt. That's really what I want to say. I'm glad no one got hurt. You know what I'm saying? You niggas know you can't get veins in New York like that. And as soon as we go back to New York, it's a Royal Rumble. Like, y'all niggas is fucking y'all own money up anyway. Shout out to Hollow. I seen his um his Instagram. Like, niggas is fucking their own money up at this point. They own. It's not even that deep to win a fucking battle. Then again, I'm wondering. I mean, it could have been. Look at how Mook and Cal started day joint off when they were talking about somebody with at the T-top in North Carolina. That's why the battle didn't happen. I don't know. We don't know what really is going on. It could be Cave Gang versus Dot Mob. You know, Mook is Dot Mob. You know, Briz is Cave Gang. We really don't know. I'm just glad that it didn't escalate further and no one really got hurt. You know what I'm saying? You know, some battles are cool with other battles. Some niggas ain't cool with other niggas. The way they came at Mook, it looked like they didn't fuck with him anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really know what's going on, man. Let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what's too far. Is talking about dead parents too far? Is talking about kids too far? Uh, 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 like it's bumping someone while they're rapping too far. Briz was doing a lot of shit, like bending down and crouching while niggas is rapping. And, and like, do you feel like that was going too far? I look at Briz like this. Briz is an energetic nigga. You know what I'm saying? I forgot what battle it was. He's battling somebody and there was pacing left to right. And he was right in front of him, pacing left to right, right with them. You know what I'm saying? Nigga will come at Briz and he'll be like, yeah, yeah. So I know Briz is energetic. I know he's hyper. That's what gets him hype. Maybe he just maybe he was trying to hype himself up. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's disappointing to watch, but I ain't gonna hold you, B. When you look at that, like that's a historical moment. Fuck up a math half a punch. Like that was a straight up and down brawl we seen, B. Behind battle rap. Let me know what y'all think, man. We already know it's not good for the culture, so you don't gotta waste your time saying that in the comments. Like, oh, this is bad for the culture. We already know that. You know what I'm saying? We already know that. I don't just mean this is the first really royal rumble we've seen besides that joint with shoddy what's it shoddy horror besides that joint in the uk where arsenal tried to kick the nigga off the stage i think he fell and then show out hit the nigga the niggas who ran up on stage and hit me in the short was chasing them we don't really see too much crazy shit in battle rap when you really think about it we don't we might see some shoving and some pushing but we don't really be seeing punches thrown like that this is like the first real Royal Rumble, I think we've actually seen. So when I look at it from that standpoint, Bad Rap's been doing kind of good, bro. We could have been as much shit as these niggas talk to each other. We could have seen way worse. But I just hope niggas is not trying to get at niggas' parents and shit like that just so they could win a battle. Like, please don't do that. Let this be the last time. I can't tell you niggas what to say, but just know this. 
You ain't no real battler if you have to go that far to win the battle. Trust me, you're not a real battler. It just, it just is what the fuck it is. That's how I feel about it, man. Hey, from the fuck up, man. Get at me, man. I'm out. One. Surgery tomorrow, niggas. Look at this shit. This shit is in my fucking hand, bro. That shit is in my fucking hand going through my fucking bones, bro. This shit is in my fucking heart. This, you see this shit? Do you? This shit should be coming off tomorrow, B. Let's all pray it come off tomorrow so I can get back to making real fucking blogs and not sitting in this fucking wheelchair all fucking fucked up and shit. Shit terrible, bro. Y'all niggas, wear y'all fucking seatbelts, bro. Wear y'all fucking seatbelts. Like, like, for real. I'm not, I'm not fucking joking. This shit ain't no fucking joke. I've been there for two months. Ain't nothing funny about this shit. Straight up. Wear y'all fucking seatbelts. Be defensive drivers. Watch these motherfuckers who gonna cut you off. And then put you in a position where you might hit them. Because that's what the fuck happened to me, man. Hey, from the fuck up, I'm about it, man. Y'all niggas pray for me tomorrow, man. One.